What makes depressions, hurricanes, and even the whole atmosphere rotate? In fact, what makes air move at all? Imagine you have two containers of water, one holding more than the other, and you take the barrier between them away. What happens? The water flows from where there is more to where there is less, and the water levels out. So, in the atmosphere, if there is more air in one place, high pressure, and less elsewhere, low pressure, the wind should move air from high to low and level the pressure out. But this doesn't happen. The wind blows along the pressure contours in circles around high and low pressure areas. Why? Imagine you are standing at the equator. In the course of a day, you travel about 40,000 kilometers, a speed of about 1,670 kilometers per hour. You don't notice it because the air around you is also traveling at the same speed, so there's no wind. On the other hand, at a pole, over the course of a day, you would stay in the same spot, but just turn 360 degrees. You and the air around you aren't travelling at any speed at all. So if fast-moving air from the equator is pulled towards the poles, it is travelling faster than the ground underneath it, and it overtakes it. On the other hand, slow, polar air gets left behind if it's pulled towards the tropics. So any air trying to move south or north can't travel in a straight line, but ends up moving progressively towards the east or west. More generally, the Coriolis effect tells us that moving objects on the surface of the Earth are always deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. It's all due to having to consider what the Earth's rotation looks like to someone on the ground. To understand the local effect of the Earth's rotation, you have to split it into components around the local vertical and the local north. To people standing in different places, north and vertical could mean different directions. At the equator, the component of the Earth's rotation about the local vertical is zero. That's why you never get tropical cyclones near the equator. Think of a low-pressure area in the northern hemisphere. The pressure gradient pulls air in from the surrounding higher-pressure areas. Air coming into it from the north is deflected to the right, to the west. Air coming in from the south is also deflected to the right, to the east. Eventually, the Coriolis force balances the pressure gradient and you end up with circular motion. In the northern hemisphere, the wind blows around a low pressure system in an anti-clockwise direction. So why do weather systems rotate in opposite directions in the southern and northern hemispheres? Imagine looking at the rotating Earth from space. If you look down at a dot on the surface of the Earth from the North Pole, it looks like it is rotating anti-clockwise. If you look down from the South Pole, it's rotating clockwise. Think of a low pressure area in the Southern Hemisphere. Air coming into it from the north is deflected to the left, to the east. Air coming in from the south is deflected to the west. You get clockwise spinning where they meet. That is why storms rotate in an anti-clockwise direction in the Northern Hemisphere, but rotate clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere. This is the Coriolis Effect.